Ryan's toys review is screaming for help. Let's see what he's talking about. So that's here. it for today's toy review, everyone. Is there more to Ryan? Bye. Mom, can I go out play with friends now? I just finished recording. Now. I'm so tired. How many videos have you done so far? It's the uh, 26th video for today. <laughs> you silly goose. Sweetie, you know you have to record at least tomorrow. 50 videos a day. How else is mommy gonna afford a new mansion? But mom, I wanna go play with my friends. Ryan! Don't piss me off! I told you you have to record at least 50 a day! Ryan, thank you so much for coming to- But like, what if he's actually enjoying it? We're all in the wrong. What if he's enjoying being a 13-year-old making this type of content? The show. What happened to your eye? Oh, he, he actually fell. He slipped on a banana like those cartoons. Anyways, I'm sure everyone wants to know, how do you spend your millions, Ryan? Like, what do you usually do? Ryan loves to spend his money on a lot of these toys and these- Sure, but it isn't good for him? I mean, Blippi still makes that type of content. Like, are you saying that's not good for Blippi? Right, like, he could still be learning outside of this. Like, it's not like, he's just creating content. Like, it doesn't mean he's not doing anything else with his- with his spare time. Doesn't mean he's not in after school activities, right? Doesn't mean he's not, he's not, you know. That he plays all the time because he's not overworked at all. He plays I, a lot. I asked Ryan, can we have Ryan answer this? Uh, you know what, if he's not comfortable, I'll just ask, or I'd, I'll ask a different question. Ryan, do you usually go out with your friends? Like, what do you do in your free time? We're all just so curious to know what you do outside your YouTube videos. Oh, well, Ryan likes to go out with his friends 24 seven. He loves going out. It's his favorite thing. Okay, to yeah. Uh, can we have Ryan answer for once? Yeah. Ryan? Is this a skit the whole time? Speak, Ryan. Ryan, what are you doing? What's, what's this? Are you part of a gang? Oh, are you throwing out gang signs, Ryan? <laughs> what are you, what are you doing? What is it? Uh, the help sign from TikTok? How did you get your phone? You've been watching those help me TikToks again, haven't you? You know what? 50 more videos. Welcome back to Ryan Toy Reviews. On this episode- Blippi is definitely on something every time. All right, what about Miss Rachel? What about Miss Rachel, huh? She's still going crazy. She seems fine. She seems like she's enjoying it. Can we please skip this? No, I want to see what it's about, bro, if you don't mind. You see how I'm sitting right now? Very demure, very mindful, very cutesy. But you know what's not very mindful, demure, and cutesy? Child exploitation. Ryan is probably one of the richest kids in the world because he started making YouTube videos when he was three years old and he was bringing 20 to 30 millis a year. And now that Ryan is almost 13 years old, which makes him a teenager, he has changed a lot because he used to make videos for kids. And now there's a meme going around on TikTok saying, let the dude retire. He's been doing this shit ever since he was three. He's been working for been in the game for years. a minute, And on son. his recent videos, he just looks miserable. 999,998. 999,999. He does Morning. kind of, yeah, he does. Morning work I don't know. And it's hard. Ready for superhero. School. Dude, he's like 13 years old. Why are the parents making him do videos for kids? Give him an upgrade. Let him do videos like Brent Rivera or like Morgs, you know? Yeah, for yeah, yeah. That's like yeah. What, 7 to 14. Yeah, now nah, you're cooking now. You're cooking now. That's facts. That's what I'm saying. Like, you don't have to totally, totally drop off. You could just make a great content change into something that's very similar. Brent Rivera's is very similar, right? Morgs is pretty similar too. Still for kids. Still for kids. You still reach a huge audience and I think your audience would still enjoy it. And not an audience that's one to seven years old. The dude's grown. Let the content grow with him. He's yeah. counting how many videos he's done. To make videos for 10 years ever since he was three, I would be done as well, honestly. Hey guys. He's done. Let him retire. Damn. He's not even a Gen Zer. I think he's a Gen Alpha. And he had the millennial pause. Does anyone know what the millennial pause is? It's like when you record a video and you wait two to three seconds before you start saying something. Are these eye bags? Is the dude getting any sleep? Hey guys, we're at Kids Choice Awards. Ugh. Damn. We just, we just so as I was saying, there's an elephant coming. He's cooking Ryan today. He's a giraffe. 
I was taking a look at Ryan's channel with 37 million subscribers. Insane. Damn, I wish I had half of that. And his channel is currently flopping. Me Ryan too. is in his flop era, and I'm not gonna judge him because we've all been there. I remember when I used to make videos at the beginning, like that was definitely my flop era because I was getting like a hundred views per video, which is, you know, I get I it. I'm, I'm in my flop era right we now, all go you know? That shit. Yeah, it but just I wanted be like to watch that. a video of him, and uh, for some reason, they're still using. Do you see this thumbnail here? They used his face when he was a child. I'm not sure why they're doing th that, so I'm like, I okay, think they're. Me... You remember how last one we were talking about, uh, like him doing an animation child animation channel, also him doing a recycling content. He's actually doing that. He's actually, he's been recycling content. He actually has an animation channel in the works. So I feel like he can step down at this point. Like, I feel like he can actually step down. Let me watch a more recent one where he looks like a 12 year old. I click on it. I watch it for like 20 seconds and Ryan is nowhere to be found. Wiz and I are taking on the Eras Challenge. We'll be visiting as many different eras throughout history. So I'm like, let me skip because maybe Ryan, oh, he's not here. He's not here. Oh, so he's not, he's not here. So it's not, it's not. So he's not, Brian is not here. Guys, mm. let's get eye on it. Welcome to Ryan's world. They're also still oh, wow. using his intro when he was a child. They seem to be using a lot of videos and thumbnails from when he's he making like his own Elmo verse at this point, right? It's, it's just called Ryan's world, but like just like it's called Elmo. Elmo is not in every single episode. Sometimes we have Elmo's world, and he's and we just have Big Bird and Cookie Monster, right? So, like, they cooking up? Give them some time. It was a kid because I'm guessing that sells. The kids don't want to see a 13-year-old make videos for kids. But they're still milking Ryan to his, like, W fucking headphones on my guy right there. I want to say W fucking headphones on my guy right there. Look at him. The fuck? Look, look at him. Last drop. They're like... Like he's a cow and they're milking the milk out of him. And when you get to almost the end of the video, there's a random ass clip of Ryan when he was like three or four years old. You did dino car. See if what? I can put it in my mouth. No! He likes to jump because he's real. <laughs> Whoa! I got it! It seems like there's this big thing of them using clips and pictures when he was young because that gets views. But yeah. like, why call the video Ryan explores different time periods when it's not Ryan and it's his friends doing a random oh, thing? Oh yeah, that's true. So we go from their friends true. doing it, exploring different time periods to just Ryan playing with his toys. Oh, in the it's same video. It's just different clips that make no sense. It's like watching a cooking recipe video and out of nowhere, the video starts playing a clip of two random ass dudes kissing each other. Oh, like, God. how do we go from you showing me a recipe video to it's a like when you, couple... you're fucking somebody taped over the wedding video with some porn. It just doesn't make any sense. Kissing each other. Ryan has a movie that came out a few weeks ago. He's been trying to advertise this movie in all of his videos, but I kind of think it's a little late. Boy, he's got a movie? Ryan is currently in his flop area why didn't they do this movie when he was at his peak but they're doing this at his lowest is this another okay this look this was me milking nah, the cow nah, like don't I was lie. Milking hey you don't gotta lie to us me hey hey it's okay dude. hey evangeline hey ryan thank you so much for being in the movie Oh, thank you. Oh, the dude's dead inside. See it when it comes out August 16th. Tell everybody about the character you play. Let him retire. What movie? He, he just doesn't want to be there anymore. And the acting? Hey, Evangeline. What movie? Tell people about the new movie that's coming out. What do you- My boy, you dropping a movie on our head tops? Ryan's World, the movie, Titan, Universe. Hold on, give me a nice oh, look. Ryan? 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 That's him, Ryan. I'm going in. Ryan? 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 That's him. You know Ryan. his name. Oh, Ryan's world. Ryan, huge fan. Can I get a selfie? Please, please, please. Here we go. You know his world. Whoa. Hold on, son. Awesome. Let's go. Conquered the small screen. Now Ryan's world is about to get even bigger. Nothing. Anyone got a plan B? Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know what the movie's gonna be like. But to say the trailer's not hard is kind of crazy. The trailer gotta go crazy. My boy Ryan's up there cooking.
This is gonna be ass, bro. What the fuck is this off-brand Hen Henry Danger app? <laughs> nah, trailer cooking, dude. Okay, Ryan. No, Ryan. W's in the chat for Ryan. What do you think about the movie? People about the new movie that's coming out. What do you think about the movie? You were in the movie, am I right, Evangeline? Oh, tell him the date as well, bitch. Guys, what do you think about my movie? Is it coming out? Do you think we'll have a special star? Ryan's were moving like Dora. Dora. Explorer? Yeah. <laughs> Dora, can you tell them where you are right now, Dora? Yeah, tell them, Dora. Uh-huh. I'd rather be drafted to World War Three than watch that. Bro, it really wasn't that bad, dude. I guess, like, you don't have kids, so you don't have to sit through their movies, right? But, like, I, if, if my son said he wanted to go see it, let's fucking do it. Like, it looked like something decent. I would sit there and watch it. This doesn't look like the worst, the worst kids movie ever. Tell him, Dora. Uh-huh. Do you think he'll have a normal teenager childhood when he stops making YouTube videos? I don't think so. He's, he's semi-famous, right? So I don't know if normal is the word we can really use, but I hope he'll be fulfilled. Even I don't speak like that. Come on, Ryan. And Ryan's new movie that just came out got a review of 2.4 out of 10. Dude, I feel bad. These are all flops. Poor Ryan. I wonder if he sees these and he's like, Mom, can we stop making kids shitty movies? Awards won. Wait, oh. this movie was nominated for oh, an it award? It came out already? What award? Child Exploitation? Top all review? Right. Cash grab. Crazy. This movie is just a waste of $60. Crazy. Cra $60? Oh, all what? you, all four of you and your kids went all six? All six of you? Four of you? Wait, what the fuck? No, I think they took the whole I family. I've been to the movie theaters multiple times and the tickets are 12 to $13? What do you mean $60? Were people paying $60 to watch a two star rating movie? Crazy. No wonder why he's a multimillionaire. If kids are going to the movie theaters and paying $60 for a movie? The earnings for his movie came out and it was a flop. On the first week, and this is usually where they make the most money, the movie made 420 k Now, I know that looks like a lot of money, but with the production and everything yeah. else, yeah. that covers nothing. Yeah, that might really cover the doesn't. coffee that they have on set, you know, when they're drinking that shit. But how much did they really pay for it, though? It. But I mean, it was animated. That might make it cheaper though. Hold on. How much should they coming in? And I'm gonna remove my what expenses? and wear my glasses to look and sound a little more serious because I wanna make this a little more dramatic. Earnings Please. from other countries were coming as well. And by other countries I mean England because the movie looks like it was only available in theaters in America and UK because that's basically the whole world. And England was actually here to save the day. They said, oh, America only brought in 420k. Well, hold my bottles of water, toast and beans, fish and chips, because I'm here not to invade the world for the first time ever. I'm actually here to save it. The budget was 10 mil? Fuck shit, shit. 10 million box office, 614,000. Jesus. Jesus. Couldn't have been, was it that bad? Or like, did, did it not just have enough push? Probably just not enough push, bro. Cause I feel like with, a, with enough marketing, you can make your money back on a lot of things. Like, I didn't even hear about it. I didn't even know he had a movie. Chat. We might have to watch it on stream and give our own judgment. Get me out. Movie night. It was supposed to be tonight, right? It's Monday, but we're not doing it tonight, man. But we, but maybe Wednesday. You know what I'm saying? We we force our way through some Ryan's world just to see what it's about. I got you, homie. America doesn't have your back, but who can, guess who has your back? Fish and chips, motherfucker. Because UK came in with those numbers. Oh, for with real? With a big bag of cash, and UK dropped it, dropped it on Ryan's head, and thankfully it wasn't heavy enough because they only brought in 11K. So Ryan Dang. did actually made it out alive. He's fine. The bag was not heavy enough. It was just 11K. Damn. So the total of the movie for the first week is. 431k? <laughs> Damn! Oh, UK was gonna save the day. But they're like, Ryan, you know those expensive lattes that the producers were buying? We can cover some of those. Here's 11k. 
There was a YouTuber called John who interviewed that Ryan a few me. days ago. Everyone that clicked me. on this video because they wanted to see what Ryan was outside his YouTube videos. I watched the majority of this video and 80% of this is just the interviewer talking to the parents because the parents would not let Ryan speak. You're on track to be a teenage billionaire. How much does Ryan get to keep of all this? Oh, be careful, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Recognize me. Hey. You're the first creator ever to have a Macy Day parade balloon and oh wow in walmart that sold over one big ryan you know the dad said that as a joke like to be sarcastic in a funny way be careful ryan <laughs> but you know that the pressure was there <laughs> you think his toys are still selling pretty pretty well though you think his toys are still selling pretty well what do you think be careful not to spill the tea ryan otherwise i'm gonna spill you be careful ryan <laughs> and by that i mean i'm gonna spill your guts out you know what? I'm even gonna leave the room because people will probably think that I'm pressuring him into saying something that he shouldn't be saying. But I'm not that kind of dad. Ryan has all the freedom in the world. More freedom than cage-free chickens. Love you, sweetie. Ryan, speak. The interviewer really asked some safe questions. There were zero controversial questions, not even like you know, something spicy or some shit? Zero. Even on the most normal questions, the energy in the room, the aura, was so dark and like, frightening and scary because the interviewer asked such a normal question. He was like, so uh, All right, let me finish do this. you watch any YouTube? Which YouTubers do you watch? And when I tell you, he was so scared to actually answer this question. His mom and dad were gonna yell at him when they got home if he answered this wrong. But like, how can you answer which YouTubers do you watch? Unless he says, oh, I actually watch right? this really funny guy that's called, who the fuck? Why is Christy texting me? <sighs> He's about to be fucking fired. Okay, he did apologize, so he's still hired. And unless he says, oh, I watched this funny YouTuber called... I watch Lazy. You know, I get it. He would be canceled because I'm a very controversial YouTuber. He gives the most basic fucking answer. What if you say, Mr. Beast, creators If you say, Mr. You Beast, right now. I normally don't watch like singular creators. I just like to watch like a lot of different ones. Usually about video games like Minecraft and Roblox. Bro, give a name. Do you like Mr. Beast content? What do you think about Mr. Beast? Uh, I think sometimes like it's really cool. I think. His content is really good. I think he's just a nervous kid, to be honest with you. I think he's just sitting here as a nervous kid. That's it. Like, I know he's been on camera for all these years, so you might not think he'd get nervous, but, like, it's the difference between being on camera recording shit and being at a podcast, Mike. Sometimes I, like, watch it. Oh my so, God. yeah, I, I think it's just really cool. He seems very Left. well Crazy work. trained, you know? Like, they really trained him for this shit. And the fact that he looked so stressed when he was answering that question, and it took him a while just to say that he watches Minecraft and Roblox. So, uh, I, uh... <laughs> I watch singular YouTubers and not multiple couple YouTubers. What did that even mean that he watches singular he said, YouTubers? Why was he so hesitant? He was like, I watched <laughs> co content. Dude, even the comments are like, I can't wait for the real Ryan interview in 10 years and not just his parents being interviewed with him present. Bruh. This will become a Netflix special in a few Brother, years. Brother! I feel like in 20 years we'll see a Netflix documentary. I interview Ryan. Uh, I interview Ryan's parents. Now I want to see the full thing. The best question in this interview was, it that was bad? him asking them, how much does Ryan keep? Does he get to keep any of this what is the percentage and the answers were like very interesting i was not expecting it to be that low i know how i feel absolutely i feel for him because he got stripped of his childhood do you think he was recording every single day or do you think it was like on weekends that they would record don't you think they would batch it don't you think he still got to enjoy the childhood he was in right Oh, you think he still got to enjoy the childhood he was in? Like, still got to do fun stuff? I don't know, bruh. I think he got weekends off. Plus, he was getting toys. At least when he first started, he was excited about getting all the toys, getting to review them. 
I don't know. Has the Coogan account where they keep money for child. Yeah, probably every day once they started making money. But you can batch content is the thing, chat. When he got big, they were uploading daily. But you can batch content, brother. Right? Like, you can record a shit ton of videos on the weekend. Like, I think about it. I sit here and I record this four or five hour stream. And then I upload what? Like, for two days straight out of the content. So you can do the same thing on, on, on the weekends. And maybe even more because you got so many toys to review. That low? Because I know Hollywood has the Coogan account where they keep money for child actors, 15% put in a See you fine. tomorrow, Bender. Um, it sounds like you guys are doing something similar and kind of setting a precedent for other kids on YouTube. Uh, is, that, is, that, is, that, is that right? Yeah, that's completely right. And, you know, if you think about it, 15% is not that much. So Coogan, the law, it, it's very minimum, right, for to, for kids. Uh, we're going up up and beyond. Uh, for Ryan's Mystery Play Day, we put 100% of the Ryan's talent fee to his uh, Coogan account. So it looks like there's the law that that requires for them to get at least 15%? Really, lawmakers? At least 15%? 15%? By law, they require... Oh my god, don't give him that much! That is just too much! You think it's a, like at least 50-50? Possibly, yeah, not a bad idea. Because she's the star? But by law, it's required to give at least 15. And I did like that he said it's more than... Was that just you reacting to stuff not recording every day since you were three years old? Don't you think he might have more fun doing what he's doing though? Getting toys every day at th like from three to seven? That would go lit. Maybe after that it'd be like, all right, I'm done with the toys, but I don't know, man. 15. I'm going to give it by law. It's required to give at least 15. If and he was I doing it like every day. I still don't think he was doing it every day. I think he was just batch, batching content on the weekend. He said it's more than 15. Like what I'm else you can do on the weekends? You're home, you're home alone on weekends with your parents anyways. So you might as well just fucking record content. Gives him more than 15. He still didn't clarify how much, but at least he's not giving him fucking 15. How much does Ryan get to keep of all this the answer is 100 percent oh, for, for the, his uh, tv series, his for TV series. this is when things get interesting he said ryan gets to keep 100 percent of his tv he show said. but most of the money is coming from his youtube channel and his toys that he sells his tv show do you guys want to see what tv show he's talking about i uh. believe that his show was dropped this year was removed from paramount plus and i'm not sure if it's still going but i think it might have been canceled. Did the YouTube star Ryan World? He Don't has a TV, his TV show. show too, Did his bro. TV show end? Don't do this to my canceled? boy twice. Yes. Ryan's mystery play date officially ended on April 16th, 2023. So it did get canceled because it was a major flop. And look at it. 3.3. All right, now it's hating. Now it's hating. You're telling me this was shit too? You're telling me this was ass too? I don't believe it, bruh. I don't believe it. I just really don't want to give my boys, give my boys some love. Out of 10 stars, which is not the worst. But the top review says, just an excuse to make millions. Damn. And he just goes on saying that the editing is very cheap. They keep using the same freaking oh, stock damn. over and over and over again. Damn, his viewers. You know who does it well, chat? Blippy. Blippy. Listen, Lev is watching. Lev, get out of here, bro. Crazy guy. You know, you know who does it well, though? Blippy. The poop porn star? Yes. He has a great motherfucking uh, animated show. I think he even has more than one show on Netflix. His toys, I think, are going pretty well. Blippy's going up. Blippy's able to go cross platforms with no problem. That, that poop porn star came a long fucking way. Damn, his viewers were mad. You must really love something to put so much effort into writing this whole fucking review Definitely. and give it one they were disappointed. star. I'm gonna end this video here. And Ryan, if you're watching this, Come to the channel. Let's let's do a collab. You know what? And feel free to bring your parents. I got plenty of room in my basement. Anyways, have a good one, everyone. I'm gonna let Dora do the outro real quick. Dora? Huh? Thanks, lazy. Huh?